Alright, back for round four. Uh, Saints keep. Two trauma pieces in a map. Snow covered mountains, an interesting first turn play. Um, so I think he's on fairies, so I want to get this map out early. Normally I'd lead with a tranquil cove, but snow covered mountains, snow covered plains, okay. Bully. So interesting choices here. The cove, the cave, or the tower. I think I'm going to go with the tower. <clears throat> so we'll fetch the mine, and then if we draw a prism, that's really good. Uh, if not, we'll play the cave for a moment's peace. Maybe not. It depends on how, if he's landlocked or not. Looks like he's kind of mana screwed. I mean, he still could play the land in his second main phase, but if he's mana screwed, okay, which he is. I'm just still going to fetch the mine. That's just debating whether I play the Tranquil Cove first or not. Um, Tranquil Cove over. Yeah, actually, I think I'm going to play the Tranquil Cove this turn. Let's draw Prism. No, I did not. I'll just play Tranquil Cove. He's got dudes, but this is, uh, given that he's mana screwed, well, there, he fixed it that turn. Yeah, like, against their slower starts, you just want to get your tap sources out. Um... All right, so we will play Mole Drifter. Hopefully, draw it into a prism. Did not. Uh, it's okay. We'll discard a cave. Uh, probably just yeah, discard a cave. All right. Uh, it looks like he's fixed his mana issues. Okay, Screds. Snakes don't normally play Scred, do they? Like. I mean, I'm not complaining. I'd much rather face off against Screds than Bolts, but let's take five, go down to 11. Uh, actually, I need two moments' peace next turn, so I will play the cave. And maybe I don't need Moments Peace. Well, I think regardless, I need to play the cave. So, I'll right, we'll just cast another Mole Drifter. Okay, discard a mine. Faithless looting, and he is going to discard Battle Screech Rally. Oof, that's value right there. That is some value. Okay, so journey uh, four, six, seven, eleven. So I can pull some Raza here. Because uh, if he bolts... If he bolts, then he could theoretically have lethal. Um, okay, let's go for that. Uh, yeah, 
Uh, so we're taking seven, go down to four. Alright. Yeah, because pulsing is basically just as good as uh, moments piecing there. Alright, cool. Prism is a very good draw. Uh, Alright, let's see what Prism draws us before we do anything else. Hmm. I think here we will just hold back moments piece. So. Actually, I can do both. I can hold back Moments Piece and Cast Mold Drifter, as long as I tap right. And then I also get to play this tap source. Uh, probably just start discarding a map here. That's rough. Nothing to do about it, but it's rough. Uh, that's interesting. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to block. I'm just, that's an interesting attack. Impulse, looking for flicker effects. Hmm, I'll take a stone horn. It's the best out of the group. We'll keep us alive until we get our flicker effects. Um, well, we do have teachings, so there's that. So we're gonna play. Whoops, undo. And play Stonehorn, and then uh, EOT teachings for ephemerate teachings for pulse, or not for flicker. Yep. More seekers don't matter. Battle Screech actually doesn't matter either. Almost screwed up there. Alright, so teachings. Grab Ephemerate. Teachings. Grab Flicker. He's got two bird tokens. I think he's got a squadron. Yeah, he's still got a squadron hawk in hand too. But uh, I don't care about that anymore. So so we'll do Nova Horror. Bounce a bird token. <clears throat> okay, he got strands. It's pretty good. All right. Um, Actually, I think I need to flicker here. Or ephemerate. Eh, we'll just flicker. Discards another strands. his man on face of looting. I think he's looking for like double bolt based on how he tapped based on how he tapped. So he's probably running just one or two journeys. Okay. Uh, 
uh, we'll just ephemerate again here. I'm going to bounce this journey this time. <coughs> Draw some cards with Moldrifter. another mold drifter just for the rubbins. Uh, okay. Throw horror will bounce. Seeker of the way. Play a mine. Play a wall. Wall gets back ephemerate. Yep. Ephemerate the wall, get back ghostly flicker. Um, <clears throat> and we're going to go ahead and flicker Stonehorn and Wall. And pass turn. So I play, oh wow, he goes for the looting here. That's interesting. I would definitely have gone for just replaying Journey if I was him. Just try and Journey out the wall. Okay. Uh, he just concedes. That's cool. Um, it's this match. God, man. They're running Seekers now, which makes me... Which makes them much more aggressive than they have been. Um, let's take out Condescends, I think. Bring in Crushers. Um, given how aggressive they are, I think Condescend might be good. Nah, we'll run it back with Crushers. I don't know if this is right, but... Um, it occurs to me after I submit a deck that he's actually just bully. So that was the wrong sideboarding. I'll keep this. <clears throat> uh, lead off with Thornwood. Two Seeker is just rough. Um, hmm. Play Tranquil Cove here. I'm not in a rush to get Tron online, so I'm probably going to spend the next few turns casting Moments Peace anyway. So. I mean, it depends on what he does, obviously, but... <sighs> Squad Hawk's pretty good. Uh, looks like he's land screwed again. Um, hmm, in that case. I'm just going to evoke a Mold Drifter. Alright, when we 
going to discard a Tranquil Cove. Another Squad Hawk grabs the last remaining Squad Hawk. No, it doesn't. This ant's full. It does. Is it just going to discard it? It's odd. Is he plans on just discarding a strands, I guess? Discards Battle Screech. Actually, that's pretty solid. Pretty legit play right there. Um, hmm. Okay. Let's take four, go down to thirteen. He's going to cast his battle screech. Sure. Let's see here, do I want to Moments Peace here? Gain 3 life. Or do I want to Pulse back to gain 6 life? Or do I want Teachings? I think I want Teachings. I want Teachings for an FM rate. I think. Uh, FM rate or Prohibit? Hmm. Nah, it's just ephemerate. I've got the wall. So I can lock him out of combat forever with the wall. Power plant is not the last drawn piece. I can do a double take there to figure that out. Um, hmm. So that begs the question do I want to ephemerate Mole Drifter or just cast it? No, nah, if he's got Rally and he's been sandbagging a land, then I'll just get caught. So, we will, hmm, maybe I'll just evoke a mole drifter. Yeah, let's evoke a mole drifter. Trying to get the, trying to hit the tower. Did not hit the tower. Okay. That's fine. Uh, discard. Tranquil Cove. In case we need the untapped land, I'm not quite sure what we need it for yet, but in case we do. Oh man, if he has like flaring paint here, that'd be rough. I don't know how many squadron hawks he has, I don't think it matters. He's got seven cards in hand. Whatever, one of them's a squadron hawk, one of them's not, who cares? Oops, undo. Moments peace. All right, that's pretty sweet. Map, touch tower, play tower, pass turn. Four, five, six, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Well, given that he did that, I'll probably just pulse, which is just as good as a fog here. Love you, has double bolt. He kills me. Yeah. 
actually we can have both piece. Yeah, double bolt is six plus seven. Yeah, double bolt's lethal, so we will just moan this piece here. Oh, I should have flashed it back from the yard. Oh well. Okay. Uh, wall. Has he got a counter spell for that? Or pyro? He might. No, we'll pretty rough shape if he does. Pretty legit. All right. Um, okay. All right. New plane is going to have to involve stone horns of some variety. Four, five, plus six, that's eleven. Uh, yeah, I think I got a moment's piece here. It's too much. Okay, tap out. Sweet. Even if it's Palace Sentinels, it's still good. <laughs> uh, Alright, so wall. Wall grabs Mom's piece. another cave here. Alright, so I need to dodge like a bolt, a journey. That's what I'm worried about now. Okay, so he played, what do you play? Planes? Yeah. Okay. Oblivion ring? Sure. So now we'll ephemerate wall in response. I guess we're getting back at teachings. He screds. Uh, okay. That's fine. So now we will moments peace. And then cast Pulse of Marasa, getting back wall. All right, Privet's an awesome draw. this, cast this, boom. We'll get an ephemerate. Ephemerate the wall. Get back a... Oh, do I want to do another pulse or prohibit? Hmm. Probably prohibit. Let's 
probably a little hasty there. I don't know. So now if he has like land rally rally, ugh, yeah, I'm pretty, pretty dead. So pretty much have to cast Moments Peace. Yeah, yeah, I think that was a pretty big mistake on my part. Biggest problem is I get a little bit hasty with the loops sometimes. Not thinking about what the opponent can possibly do. Uh, the fact that he's looting right now is actually pretty good for me. <laughs> that means he didn't have the answers in his hand. I mean, he knows I have prohibit, so I don't know that he does anything here. Okay. That's pretty valid. I mean, if he lets me untap with uh, with Ephemerate and a prohibit in hand, then I think I win. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 12, that's fine. I'll take 12. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so, wall, grab the ephemerate. Oh, Stonehorn's a awesome draw. Okay. Yeah, we'll play Stonehorn. I think it'll pass turn now. Gotta leave up Prohibit and uh, probably Teachings at the end of turn for Flicker. Just lock him out indefinitely. Doing nothing now. Okay, well then let's uh it's teachings. Um actually I might just grab another ephemerate. Where's it a prohibit? Actually let's grab another ephemerate. So this is better against uh, uh, better against this power blast. And then I can start rebuying pulses and whatnot. Now let's begin rebuying pulses. Um, Hmm. So let's pulse back a mole drifter. Uh, hmm. I think the map is free. Yeah. Map. For a uh, for a tower. Mm. 
Yeah, we'll leave that alone. I was really kind of hoping to hit more land drops there, but it didn't quite work out for me. Oh, Relic. Good God. That's sick. Um, Alright, well, I think I pretty much have to counter that. Or at least try. Uh, Alright, not going to do anything and open myself up to getting bolted or something. Alright, let's get some colored mana out there. Uh, I'm actually just going to play this from Monile. Let's get back our prohibit. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, let's see here. How's this game going? Right, so I got Flicker, Prohibit, and Moments Peace available to me. Yeah, Spectre doesn't matter. Unfortunately, he has just clogged the board up, so I'm going to have to beat through a bunch of these things with when I eventually draw the horror. Um, not going to do anything here. Don't want him to again. Don't want him to get me. Get my guys with bolts. Eventually, he's gonna have to go for it, or he's just gonna time out as bad as I am. Yeah, 
Okay, so there's the there's the first time he's going to go for it. So we will flicker in response. Yeah, so he gets the he gets the first ephemerate, but the second one will get will get it back. And it's like it, once the Tron player has this kind of a lock, it doesn't matter what you do as the opposing player because I can just rebuy my ephemerates indefinitely. And then eventually, I can rebuy my like prohibits and stuff every turn. Uh, so, um, one, two, three, four colored sources. Um, yeah, so I think I want it to we'll pass turn here. I'm going to teachings and then have ephemerate, flicker, prohibit back up. I'm just going to teachings for another counter spell, I think. Maybe an impulse, though, because I really just kind of I need to find a way to, to end this game. So, yeah, we'll just grab an impulse. Do we use it this turn? Yeah, I think we can. Oh, never mind. 